Hi everyone, my name is Nikki Yang and I'm a student worker in International Student Service. I am a senior student majoring in Marketing and Management. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to speak Chinese. So now, I'm going to introduce myself in Chinese. 大家好,我的名字叫Nikki. 我是一个大四的学生,专业是市场营销和管理. So now, I'm going to be teaching you guys some alphabet first. The first thing I'm going to teach you guys today is pinyin. Pinyin just like the English alphabet. So first, we have to learn the initial sound. And we need to learn the final sound. Simply means the initial sound referred to, um, you have to put, put the initial sound in front of the final sound. And the final sound has to be in the end. That combination will be a word in Chinese. So I'm going to show you the list of initial sound first. As you can see, it looks like English alphabet, but we have a different pronunciation. So now I'm going to pronounce one by one to you guys. First one is Bo, Po, Mo, F, D, T, N, L, G, K, H, G, Q, Xi. So what I just teach you guys is the initial sound. And next, I'm going to show you guys the final sound. It looks like English alphabet too, but it's different pronunciation. So the first one is A, O, U, E, U, U, I, A, C, O, O, U. Ye, ye, u, an, an, in, wen, yun, an, an, in, wong. I know all of this sounds a little bit difficult for you guys. But when we put the initial sound and the final sound together, it can be a word. For example, B, which is Bo in Chinese, A, which is A in Chinese, when these two combine together, it can be Bo A Ba Ba. As we all know, we have four different tones. So, the B and the A has four different sound, and this four different sound could be a different meaning, can be a different word. For example, B and A, the first sound will be ba, ba, -a ba. It can be referred to the number eight. And the second sound, ba. Bo a ba. It can refer to pulling, pulling something. Next, also, we have a chart that can be a complete word, a com complete pinyin, which is zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, ci. S, U, I, U, Y, 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 
冤，阴，晕，阴。We call this chart a complete sound. So I was saying we have have the initial sound in the beginning, and we have to have the final sound in the end. That can be a pinyin, can be a word. But for this complete sound, it can be a completely single individual word. I know all I teach is kind of hard, but I'm gonna show you guys some simple conversation next, so you can learn how to say hi, bye, how are you, and when you go to China to travel, you know how to speak with the native people simply. Now I'm gonna teach you guys some simple Chinese, so you can talk to your Chinese friends, or when you go travel to China, you can speak with them. It's pretty simple. So now let's start with hello. In Chinese is 你好，你好 that means hello. Thank you in Chinese means 谢谢 You're welcome in Chinese is 不用客气 Okay, so now when you go to travel, you need to learn how to say I want to use the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Now I'm gonna teach you guys this. So, bathroom in Chinese means 厕所 or you can say 洗手间 So when you want to use the bathroom, you can ask the people around you. Be like, 请问洗手间在哪里 That means, Hi, where's the bathroom? Now, a lot of people like Chinese food, right? I'm gonna teach you some simple Chinese food. Let me see, what can I teach you guys? Fried rice. Fried rice in Chinese is 炒饭 Pork fried rice, 猪肉炒饭 Mapo tofu. Actually, this is pretty like. It sounds like Chinese already. Mapo tofu in Chinese is. Mapo tofu. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to count one to ten in Chinese, and I'm gonna show you the hand symbol because it's different in China. So one is yi, er is two, san is three, four is si, five is wu, six is liu, seven is qi because it looks like a seven. Eight is ba, so you just flip your hand like this, and nine is jiu, ten is shi. So I'm gonna speak in order in Chinese once: 一二三四五六七八九十 So that's how you count in Chinese. Thank you guys for watching this lesson. And hope this video can help you to learn quick Chinese. 再见 Bye, everyone.